Well, I met my wife Christina at a dance in the CYMS Hall in Navan in 1952 and we got married in 1953 in a little church called the Yellow Forge Bow Park just outside Navan near Kentstown. She was one of the Lawler girls out there. <laughs> and please God, now if we get to April next, 6th of April next, we'll be 60 years married. Please God. My name is Caroline Ryan. I'm the middle daughter of this family. Um, I nominated my dad. Uh, it's hard to put into words really why I nominated my dad. There's so many reasons. He is a phenomenal man. He's a phenomenal carer. He has changed his life around since Mammy had her stroke uh, almost eight years ago. He has had to learn from the very beginning how to cook, how to clean, how to do all the things that he does now every single day has been a new challenge for Daddy. And he's met them head on. She does, she's very alert, very intelligent lady still. Uh, knows everything that's going on. Keeps up as well as she can with everything. And everyone, and, and all the grandchildren. Some of them are emigrating this week. <laughs> and she wants to see them before they go. Well, uh, no, I, I think, I don't think Grandma would be suited to be anywhere else in a home or in a nursing home or in long-term care. I think they're both happy here and I think that's what makes it kind of easier on everyone because we all love coming down here and seeing everyone. So, I mean, it makes it just makes it special and I think that he deserves it because he makes it easier on everyone. Well, it starts in the morning around eight, eight o'clock in the mornings, or you take her out of bed and uh, I have equipment, lucky enough, with a good OT to give it a hoist and uh, get her out of bed, down for the breakfast and uh, then I am the cook, the general dog's body for the rest of the day. I'm chief pharmacist, I'm cook, I, I'm everything to do with the running of a house and outside. <laughs> And then around uh, seven o'clock in the evening, she does a bit of television. She likes the television, and she uh, likes Fair City and all these soaps. <laughs> and then we go to bed around nine o'clock. So all in all, like our day is fairly good, and the weeks are flying. I don't know where they're going, to, but they're flying. <laughs> given up his entire life to devote to Mammy. And without him, we couldn't have done it. We couldn't have her at home and we couldn't do this. So that's really why, and we would really like to thank, on behalf of all my family, the Irish Heart Foundation for allowing us this chance to show our appreciation to Daddy. Because it's not something you can do easily. You can say thank you and thank you and you're great. But for us, this is our opportunity to say thank you for what you do for us for many. And I want to just advise any poor person, man or woman, who is left in this situation, you'll get over it. I did. It's not easy, but keep the heart up and it will come right. And no matter even if the person loses speech, which my wife did, we still communicate in our own little ways, you know, there's different ways of doing it. Not easy, but it's... you overcome it. 